turning 26 a day and today is December 19. And by the time na mapapanood yung video na to, malamang uh, my birthday has already been passed. But birthday comments are still welcome. And for the people that doesn't have a context of who I am, let's make a quick recap of the defining moments of my life. Everything started back in college para sa akin. So yung pinaka-catalyst of uh, myself was yung professor ko back in college. So siya yung pinaka-major setback ko nun. So I failed four times in this class and sobrang uh, hindi ko alam yung gagawin ko. So I tried new things. Uh, I start uh, having yung t-shirt business ko with my college friends. And then, uh, nag-try din ako pumunta sa mga events, sa mga leadership events. Try to explore those uh, stuffs. And dahil doon, I was able to train myself to be comfortable with other people. Kasi before, I was so shy na hindi ako yung mag-first move for us to have a conversation. And yun, after a couple of events na pumunta ako na pumunta sa mga ganong event, I become comfortable with speaking to other people na I haven't ever met before. Then itong paggawa ko ng video, it all started back in the middle of 2016. So nagpunta kami ng mga college friends ko sa El Nido, Palawan. And yung isa namin kasama doon, si Monique, uh, she caught some video footage. And back then, wala pa akong idea sa pag-edit ng video. So nag-ask lang ako sa kanya na kuhain ko yung mga videos niya. And yun, from that, parang doon na nagsimula interest ko to start making videos. So, yun yung pinakaunang video ko na inedit. And alam mo yun, parang looking back, parang hindi mo talaga alam kung ano yung ga. Alam mo yun, parang yung event na yun, hindi mo mapepredict kung ano yung effect niya in, in your life. And now, looking back, parang yun pala, uh, it, it affects my life ng malaki. Then, just before I graduate, I had an opportunity to work for Sun Life as an insurance advisor, which gives me a career that allows me to pursue my other passions at the same time. So, so far, yun yung defining moments of my life. A few moments later. Those are my defining stories that keeps you up to date. Now, let's look back dito sa year ko ngayon, 2019. And simulan natin muna dun sa mga good things na nangyari para sa akin this year. Simulan natin dun sa passion project ko that I was able to start earlier this year, which was my podcast. It's called Jex Podcast. You could check it out Spotify. I think I have six episodes in. I was able to visit Makolod, Boracay, and Bawan, Batangas this year. Also, I was able to experience watching stand-up comedy for the first time. Pwede bang tigilan nyo na kami pakilala sa kapwa namin mataba? <laughs> Tapos i-expect nyo magigit along kami, okay? Hindi <laughs> 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 siya ganun. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> siya, hindi ganun yun. Yung tipo, oh, mataba siya! Mataba siya, oh, best friend! <laughs> I quit trading the stock market and instead ni reinvest ko yung capital ko into my friend's business which so far is worth it. Sana hindi ko ma-jinx. And ayun, uh, lahat to nangyari dun sa earlier part ng year. And it's like I'm doing great until I wasn't. I don't wanna talk about the details of the bad things that happened sa akin. Uh, I'm just hoping na for the coming year, it will be a bounce back year para sa akin. Let me have a reflection of the things and choices that I made now that I'm 26. Looking back, uh, I was delayed in college. It took me six years bago ako makagraduate. And malaking part na is because I wasn't all in sa pag-aaral ko nung panahon na yun. Lalo na in, in the latter part ng pag-aaral ko. Siguro yung more on sa graduating years ko na. And kung isipin mo, why not focus? Lalo na, uh, ano, malapit ka na. And siguro kasi, um, yung ginawa ko, I, I do more things. Parang, I do a lot of extracurricular activities para sa sarili ko. I wander around, I try new things, I explore more about myself. Kung ano yung mga gusto ko and hindi ko gusto. And, alam mo yun, parang, hindi ko siya nire-regret kahit na delay ako kasi, um, feeling ko, hindi, alam mo yun, parang, uh, if I delayed not trying or doing yung mga bagay na yun, parang, I won't figure out kung sino ako ngayon or kung ano. Alam mo yun, parang I won't I won't have an idea kung kung ano yung mga gusto ko ngayon. If I'm being very honest with myself, I took a huge gamble sa sarili ko not to take a stable corporate job and instead took a sales career 
and have a passion project on the side hoping na in the future it will be a more stable career and it will parang give me a more stable source of income and okay lang sa akin yun I know it's a long shot and gusto ko naman tong paggawa ng mga videos ko and yung podcast ko I love doing those stuff kaya lang alam mo yun, parang now that I'm I'm aging or I'm now 26 I'm more than 25 you know para it scares me na will it ever to off or will it to off in time or will it ever work now that I'm 26, I was hoping that I was able to put my foot on the door, not necessarily successful, but alam mo yun, parang on the way to success ka na so that when I hit 30, parang mas stable na, mas parang firm na yung career ko on, on, on this path. From 20 to 25, I was working with myself to find what I'm passionate about. And I'm hoping now that I'm 26 to 30, I'll be parang uh, just enhancing yung skills ko in, in this path, in this career. So that alam mo parang when the time comes na yung opportunity arrives, I will be ready to take it. Lastly, this would be my last video for the year. Uh, I just want to parang reflect lang on a comment that I got parang September to or October. And yung context ng comment na yun is, you're not lost, you're just tired, you need rest. And alam mo yun, yung mga comment na alam mo sarili mo totoo, that's the comment that hit you the hardest. Never took that comment negatively and in fact, I really appreciate it. At that time nung binasa ko yon, parang gusto gusto ko na talagang magpahinga or just not to do something. Ganon. Kaya lang, I have deadlines, I have requirements, which parang uh, doesn't allow me to have that luxury at that time. I was trying and pushing until the end. Uh, it will all make sense next year. Now that everything settled, pwede na ako mag uh, reflect, and look forward for the coming year. Just want to share this story last one. So, earlier this year, tinanong ako ng best friend ko kung bakit hindi ako nag-share ng videos ko in my YouTube dun sa Facebook ko. And sinagot ko, uh, I don't want yung attention or I just don't want yung cloud. And sinabi niya, uh, hindi mo pag gusto yung mga magkaroon ng subscribers or people that comments in, in, in your uh, YouTube videos. And Nung una, and yung time at that time, sagot ko sa kanya, ewan, because I really don't know. And nung start na magkaroon ng sprinkles of comments in, in, in some of my videos, now parang ngayon, uh, mas alam ko na yung sagot doon. Uh, it's, it's more fun to make videos and have people uh, comment on, on what you do, especially yung positive ones. Because uh, in, in some ways, parang... Uh, you know, you're able to, or I'm able to make uh, the world a little bit better with, with just making a video. So, parang ganun lang. So, yeah, uh, hope you still enjoy watching these videos and yeah, have a comment or greet me in the comment section. Enough. I hope you guys have a meaningful holiday season. See you next year.